Bismillah, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh Good greetings, today is 4th of June This will be the second session of uh, tutorial, virtual tutorial for my class statics I will not be repeating everything that I have gone through in the first video uh, If you missed that one out and you are interested to see how teaching and learning is being conducted Especially by me and if it is good or not or if you have any feedback Do watch that first video two days ago I'll try to put the link in the description or somewhere on the top corner. I'm interested to see how many actually have watched the video for the lecture first, right? Because I think some of the students do not bother to go through the concept and theory and they just go straight into the tutorial because I will um, still cover or show the, the, the equations, etc. as well. However, they will miss out on the concept which I do think sometimes it can be crucial for certain question that can be flipped around and if you do, they do not have the concept they just memorize the equation they can be in trouble in the exam right but anyway so um, the majority half says they have watched portion of the video meaning not full okay 30 percent says they have watched the full lecture and there are some that have not even watched the lecture right so my my big question is um, the flip classroom work I know from previous experience but when I also want to do the quiz that is where the problem is because um, for the flip classroom basically they watch the lecture before coming to class and then we will do the tutorial and solving problems and solve whatever problem that they have fine but when I also have a quiz uh, in that session <coughs> so normally for example, uh, the tutorial and the lecture that sh they should watch beforehand is for, for chapter 5, for example. But the quiz on chapter 4, um, uh, because the quiz is for what they have covered before, right? Uh, the issue is they tend to focus on the quiz. Hence, they will um, revise for the quiz and not for the tutorial. And hence, they come unprepared for the tutorial. Hence, uh, the flip classroom doesn't work in that way. Okay, Assalamualaikum. Ada question? Any question ke? Ke tak? Uh, sir. Hmm. Yang soalan tiga tu kan? Soalan tiga dalam dalam PDF tu? Ah, uh, dalam PDF tu. Mm -hmm. Kan Sir ada buat uh, sampai moment untuk dapat yang equal to 360 tu? Uh, apa dia? Solution dia tu? You cakap uh, pasal video, video ke? Apa dia? You cakap apa yang saya tunjuk dalam recording tu kan? Video. Ha, dalam video tu. Okay. Uh, sebab saya kata yang 0.3F squared tu sebab saya tak saya tak tahu macam mana nak buat untuk solution tu. Uh, until which point yang you faham? Until which point yang kat mana yang you tak tak clear? Uh, saya faham sampai square root 0.3F squared plus 0.2x squared equal 360 ok ok selepas tu saya terus tanya nak selesaikan oh sekejap mak maknanya uh, matematik punya part ke macam mana nak kira ha. tu ke ha 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 oh ok sebab sebab apa sebab saya jam saya jam uh, solution eh ok basically uh, call, sebab you ada square root of um, uh, square root of 0.3 f square Uh, dengan uh, plus 0.2 f square equal to 360 macam tu kan yang tu sampai situ ah. you ok so satu cara ialah you square you square kan dua-dua belah ok so maksudnya dapat 0.09 f macam tu ke 0.09 f ha uh, lagi plus 0.04 f ha uh ha -huh. Okay, maksud equal 129600 ha, Tapi uh, kalau you cakap tu you, you, F tu kena square juga kan? Oh Okay, so F F for uh, F uh, Kuasa 4 Eh, bukan F kuasa F kuasa 2 lah Sebab 0.3 F Bila square kan jadi 0.09 F kuasa 2 Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. So, last okay, so, 0.1 2 0.13 F kuasa 4 Eh, kenapa sampai 0.4? Tak, <laughs> nah, dia, okay. You akan dapat 0.09 F kuasa 2. 
Ha. Campur 0.04 F02. Okey. Sama dengan 36002 kan? Sama dengan 36 360 tu pun kuasa 2 belah, belah kanan ha, tu kan? Haa betul betul. Okey. So bila campur tu jadi 0.9 eh 0.09 campur 0.04 jadi 0.13 F kuasa 2 kan? Ya yeah, ya. Yeah. Sama dengan apa nombor tu saya pun tak ingat. Tapi yang nombor 360 tu lah ibu kira. Lepas tu ibu bawa 0.14 tu ke, ke ke sana. Ia akan bahagi. Ia akan ha. dapat nombor dia kan? Hmm hmm hmm. And then dapat nombor tu so, uh, F kuasa 2 sama dengan nombor tu So F you kena square root yang nombor tu Dapatlah jum, uh, nombor dia Oh ok hmm, Dah tu cuba check lah sama ke tak Ok ok Ok, okay faham eh so. Alright oh. Ok so <laughs> That was a question in a google meet Um Um Uh, interesting is not about statics but it's more mathematics and that is the, the, the as, and that is the issue I think that I have observed many of them that struggle with this subject this is a first year subject first year first semester subject mechanics statics um, many of them struggle not because statics but because the lack of mathematics which should have been resolved before they enter university in the matrix they have learned that In high school, they also have learned that, right? So, I'm not sure what is the issue right now because when they come into the subject unprepared because we will not teach them all the details of 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 mathematics <coughs> um, uh, because the, it is expected they, they know, for example, trigonometry, right? Sine, cosine, tangent, they should know that already. However, I do notice that some really have severe lack of understanding of what is how to apply sine cosine tangent which is a very big problem and hence we have to spend time to actually uh, educate them or teach them on that on mathematic part uh -huh, on top of statics uh, and some of those just right now it's just purely mathematical calculation equation right um, so that is the thing that I think as a whole system Uh, there should be a, 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 a serious consideration in terms of what do you want the student to to achieve and acquire for them to excel in the next level, right? If if I'm a teacher in the matriculation where they will go into university, I should prepare them to be able to excel in the university, not just do whatever I can so that they have good grades regardless of they understand or not and then they will struggle later that doesn't serve the purpose so um, that is a huge discussion I think that have to be done that have to be undertaken um, otherwise many students we actually <laughs> you can ask any other lecturer that teach the same subject right the, uh, or the same level subject they have to actually re teach the student what they have should have already understood before coming to university anyway <coughs> so that is um, an example of uh, how this google meet is for when someone have any question they just can step in ask and i'm here to help inshallah so here is basically snapshot of a student actually currently or that have uh, watched the tutorial video so right now it's count is 34 so still some like 10 student is not yet starting to watch uh, the video so that is my concern as well when i talk about the quiz i prefer the quiz to be at the very beginning of the session hence at 8 a.m when i ask for time many are, are suggesting at 9 a.m my concern is if the quiz is at the middle of the step uh, the, the tutorial it is at the middle it can disrupt the tutorial process that's one number two Before the quiz, they will not be focusing on uh, the tutorial itself. They will be focusing on the quiz, which is the previous chapter. Hence, um, I don't think it will work well if the quiz is at the middle or at the end because the whole tutorial will be meaningless. They will not focusing on that. Ma student will more focused on what will give impact to them, which is marks, which is the quiz, not what we will be learning today that can go that can be put aside i want to secure the mark first right so i'm thinking after this if no no problem based on the response 
um, it will be at 8 a.m. So that's the very first thing that they will be doing. But if I do that, they have to actually come at 8. We will test the system uh, today, inshallah, in terms of the quiz. I haven't posted yet, so we will do that. But anyway, so this is some of the things that I monitor. Um, number of people that actually watch the video. Uh, this one I have to have here because the notification will alert me if someone want to enter. Okay, so that is the system. Alright, so it is now 8.57 a.m. So, 3 minutes to go before we launch the quiz and see how it goes from there. So, I will be posting this in a minute. So, it says this is the quiz for today. The question is as per attached. So, I have attached this one. Uh, the allocated time for the quiz is 15 minutes. That's the time needed for them to answer. Uh, consideration of buffer time. One minute for them to download the PDF. One minute to proper take snapshot after they have finished. And three minutes to upload. Hence, total time become 20 minutes. Uh, 15 plus 1 plus 1 plus 3. That is 20 minutes. So, the quiz will start at 9 a.m. This is two minutes from now. So, any submission that reached the system after 9.20 a.m. is considered late because I already have put that five minutes buffer. Um, so, if they actually answer more than 15 minutes, they, they want to take that 20 minutes to answer and then their internet connection is low and it reached the system late, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. All right. So, it's 9.59 a.m. Uh, according to my uh, computer time. I think I'll just post this so that they have extra half a minute. So post. Okay, so now it is posted already, right? So they should be able to see this one. This is 8.59 a.m. posted. Uh, they should be able to see the this question and uh, uh, also download, right? Someone actually asked uh, on, 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 on Google Meet, one student. One student actually asked on WhatsApp. Uh, he snapshot the video and say, I do not understand this part. Okay, so that's only two questions for today, but that's not important because I'm not forcing the student to ask. I'm just facilitating and be here if needed for the student to ask, right? So that's my job. Uh, I shouldn't be complaining if there's not many questions uh, because my task is to make sure they understand. I have put everything in place for them to learn. If they use and utilize all of them, they learn. That's fine. Alhamdulillah, that's enough for me, right? But if they need to ask, I'm here. Right, so that's that's my purpose as as uh, someone to want to educate. Okay, so we will see in twenty minutes how it goes in terms of the quiz, and if there's any technical problems that I have to I have to see what I can do. So Alhamdulillah, it's ten nine a.m. Um, so my standby time is over. So let's just take a quick look at what we have captured today, inshallah. Alright, feedback. Uh, I think it is better to do a quiz be first before the tutorial. When, this is when, right? Uh, W-H-E-N, I think. When I read the quiz question, I thought about couple of moment. Moment of a couple. But I make a little mistake that waste my time. I think quiz first is better. Okay, so that's the issue that I noticed also. Um, they can confuse between... Um, what they are currently learning and what the quiz is about which is the what they have previously learned right so that is the thing that i think some students tend to get it confused right so if it's mixed up <laughs> we can have this case uh, happening a lot so i think it's better to settle the quiz first before we go into the tutorial that's my opinion but this uh, this comment do solidify that opinion i enjoyed the sweet and bad moments not sure what that, that means what is the sweet moment and what is the bad moments. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, thank you for the feedback. Thank you, sir. Everything going well, sir. Thank you very much. Nothing, not yet, sir. By the way, thank you. Sorry, I forgot to log out. So, first we will see this one about the timing. Is, it ha is having the quiz at 8 and 9 a.m. suitable for the tutorial to be effective? Uh, so, the majority says no problem at all to focus on the tutorial and do well in the quiz. Uh, sorry, I'm tired already. So, I'm sitting on the floor right now, right? So, this 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 setting is on the floor. So, when my body going down, 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 meaning I'm, I'm tired already and I just want to rest. Anyway, so, um, four students says 
no it is impossible to focus on the tutorial before the quiz it is better to have the quiz before the tutorial so four students answer that one and nine students say no it disrupt my mon momentum of doing tutorial it is better to have the quiz by either at the end of the beginning now one student says yes uh, because i can test the skill i've learned based on the tutorial session not sure what this means but because the quiz is from a different chapter than the tutorial that they are currently doing uh, I'm not sure whether this student actually answer using this chapter and not the actual chapter that he should be using That's a problem, but I'm not sure. I'm assuming that is what it meant Quiz on the different time. I'm not sure What this mean? It means that different time than 9 a.m. Or different time for different student mean is student can take their own quiz at their own time um, To do so I'm not sure what is the medium that is best for that I uh, have to explore if but I, that will create so many moving parts that I prefer to have it, the quiz at the same time so I can monitor it more easily, right? So in terms of the individual timings, because I want to see how much time they take to upload actually, right? So here, for example, uh, where is it? So he start at 9.18, finish at 9.19, so one minute to upload. So not a problem for this one. Okay, this is 13 already. So let's just randomly see. So this is one minute from 18 to 19. Uh, two minutes. Um, wait, this is going back in time. He start at 9.17 and then he finish at 9.10. So that is so efficient that he actually go back in time. <laughs> Okay, let's go to those who submit late and see how much time. 50, 50, that's not even one minute. If they submitted, if they, this is two minutes. So, um, for the most part, okay, this is eight minutes. Seriously? It takes eight minutes to upload. That's terrible connection, right? eight minutes to upload that that's terrible because the size of the file i have to check the file size i'm not sure whether the file size is so big four minutes okay so i have to give more time for upload four minutes hmm because that's the the range is quite 12 minutes is 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 this even realistic 20 to 30 to 12 minutes to upload or does she include whatever else that is going on? Because I just want to see how much time it is to upload, not to snap picture or edit the picture or anything. Because 12 minutes to upload, just to upload to until it finishes, it is bizarrely ridiculous, right? You have to sue the mobile phone company. This four minutes. Okay, I have to check individually. Sorry, I'm not mm, five minutes. So yeah and in terms of the file so okay uh, another challenge for this one is um how to mark and uh return it back to the student for them to okay this one is too far how to how do i even okay so that's the challenge with with this medium of doing quiz right what is this Anyway, so that is it for today, I think, um, because it is mostly to check whether... So generally speaking, I think I can work with this, but if anyone, if someone who have quite poor phone or something... Wait. Okay. So that is the challenge. Okay, so I think I do not want to prolong this video any longer. So, there you go. Uh, anyone who actually do uh, participate in, in online medium for blended learning, online learning, ERTL, um, please do comment if you have some suggestion for me to improve this significantly in any way possible, right? Um, because I'm not yet tested in terms of marking or grading all this. It will be tough, I think, because on paper it's straightforward and it's easy. This one, opening file, etc. And can I actually mark on that? And then 
to return back to the student is it manually one by one uh, so much hassle um, but hopefully Allah will accept this as as Amal Saleh inshallah so there you go that's um, for today I'm not sure how uh, how long this video end up to be but hopefully but not 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 that many people uh, interested in this this kind of video anyway in this time of topic so hopefully those who are interested is the one who watch and get something out of it inshallah wallahu alam i think um that is it for today um thank you for watching hopefully there's some value for the, for for any of you who was watching and see you next time